Well, hey, this is Pastor Seth with you again. And this week, I just want to think uh, in the, the Bible, take time to think and look at, and this is one of the reasons we need to read the Bible, it's because we need to know what it says in regard to different things. But there's, there's lots of questions right now with everything going on in the world. Is, is this the end times? And honestly, I do not know if this is the end times. We, we, we just don't know. But there's things that we can look at in Scripture. Yesterday I talked about the day of the Lord, how, how this day of judgment is something that started to be predicted even back in the Old Testament. And ultimately Jesus took our judgment on himself so that on, on the day when he returns, we don't have to fear. We can, we can look forward with hope because we've been saved by him and by what he did for us on the cross. But on the question, are we living in the end times? We don't know. There's, there's possible indications and things, but, um, but I think it's always been so. It's always been so in the case of, of history, of human history, that there's been times of upheaval and hardship and pain. There's always been little hints and things that maybe this is the end. And I, I just read a book. Um, it's called A Distant Mirror, The Calamitous 14th Century. And it, it lays out the 14th century, and, and I think it's interesting, and it bears, bears noting, because in the 14th century, there were four calamities, four things that just, like, upended people's lives. First, you had the Hundred Years' War between England and France that started, just this devastating war that went on and on and on for generations. You had the Black Death, which killed about a third to a half of all the population of the earth, sweep through in about three or four years' time. You had, when the Hundred Years' War wasn't on, you had roving roving mercenary bands, these, these armed knights and their, their followers who would just go and pillage villages, peaceful villages, just, just for sport and for, for money. And then you had the church, which was supposed to be the, the, Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church, which was supposed to be that glue holding society together. It had at, at times two and three contending and warring popes. It was just a time of upheaval. And if you were living then, you would, you would ask the same question that we're asking today. Are we living in the end times? And I think rightly so because of all that's going on. But in Matthew 24, 36, Jesus is giving uh, a discourse on the, the Sermon on the, or not, on, the, uh, on the Mount of Olives. And he says this in Matthew 24, 36. He says, but concerning that day, the, the day of the Lord, the day that is coming, the end, the end times, but concerning that day and hour, no one knows. Not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. In other words, we can look around, and Jesus, I think, encourages us to look around. He encourages us to be ready, to be aware of what's going on, and to look forward and hope because we know that we belong to Him if you've trusted Christ as your Savior. But friends, we don't know. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It, it is closer today than it's ever been. We know that for sure, but, but we just don't know. And I just have to think that in the 14th century, they thought it must be imminent. As everybody was dying from the Black Death and there was just complete breakdown of civil order and society, and, and just it, it must have been horrible to live at that time. They must have thought, surely, surely this is it. Surely the, this is the day of the Lord. The Lord is coming back. And yet, we know on this side of history that that wasn't the case. So are we living in the end times? We are closer today than we've ever been. We don't know, Matthew 24, 36 says. Nobody knows except the Father when that day will be. The call on us is to live, to live how Jesus commanded us. And to be filled with hope because of what he's done for us.